in the just for fun category of 3d print designs today i want to show you how to build the my latest gimbal drink holster uh it's pretty slick <laughs> for a fun drink holster uh this one is um all plastic snap together adjustable and uh you these different rings here the, the, the grippers i have for various sizes of beverages all the way up to the big bottles and cans down to these skinny containers uh, and i'll show you how that gets put together and how it works hold on as the name suggests um this device is really just designed to keep your drink upright but with the off axis gimbal you can see it naturally hangs a little bit off so if i throw a beverage in it that kind of tilts and gets amplified and uh co if compared to my previous design which is actually a true gimbal this one actually put the beverage in and it stays upright but this one i'm using set three steel bearings some screws uh, a little bit different design and in the end when you hang it on your belt it's gonna hit your body anyways so this axis here is not really that important to gimbal so instead of worrying about that i put two pivot points two bearings the plastic bearings in the in the other axis so that it has no problem staying upright this way so when you put a drink in and it's pushing up against your body it's always upright this way uh, sorry this way anyways and it can still move this way so it works out really really well and if you have a larger can you can just adjust the height it's got adjustable ability in the back and as i said earlier you can put a bigger ring on for you know the giant beers uh whatever you want to put in it so let's talk about the parts and show you how it all goes together. After printing all the pieces, just once you've got them all gathered in front of you, there's two pieces of support that need to be removed before you can assemble them. You can see the first ones here on the belt clip just snaps off and that re re uh, exposes these two hooks. And on the connector part, uh, there's the same thing. It's the same design, just another piece to break off. And once you've done that, it, everything snaps together. So you can see these two parts just mate, just align, align those up, snap them together. And then there should be a hub part, which I know in front of me, here it is, that goes into the back of this one. And the same thing again, this little connector snaps into that. Just turn it so you can see. And once that's in, these two bearings are now ready to go. That connector plate mates with the spine part here. So this little groove matches up with that, goes in. And if you push it down, it snaps in. There's a tab here that's preloaded as a spring. So that's stopping that from coming out. But if you need to release it, you can just press down in there. You might need a screwdriver or something to get in there, but you press down and it'll release. But otherwise that's gonna stay in. For the top part, the drink holder, this slides on and these two spring-loaded tabs hold it down. Oh, I printed the wrong part. This goes on there. And when you do that, it's now locked on. If you want to remove it, you can quite easily, but I didn't design it to be done without a tool. So just press in this little tab on both sides and off it comes again. So you just need something small like a pen tip. On the lower half, you have the, the leg that holds up the drinks. Squeeze these a little bit and you can see this tab now, you just squeeze in these two and you can move it along to a new position. So for example, for a short beer, you go there and for a taller beverage, you go there and obviously a middle position for in between. And that's it, you're fully assembled and ready to go. The only thing I will add is that if you don't like the squeak that you get for the uh, simple uh, bearings here, you can actually drop a little bit of oil. I just use synthetic oil, a drop down inside here to remove some of that squeak if you get any. And um, otherwise that's it, you're good to go. Enjoy, have fun.